Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra and today's class will be a strong yoga flow for a boost of energy. This is an intermediate level class, so whenever you're ready, let's get started in child's pose. Big toes come to touch, knees are shoulder width distance apart, and heart and chest melt down towards the ground. Start connecting to your breath, in and out through the nose. And if you're like me and have a few external distractions around, maybe some pets or kids walking around, instead of trying to get rid of those distractions, try to view them as a challenge. See it if instead of letting yourself be bothered by them, you can embrace the fact that no situation is ever perfect and you are never fully in control. And that's okay. Stay connected to your breath and keep bringing your awareness back to your body, back to your mat. Take two more deep breaths right here. Coming into your tabletop pose, let's take three rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round your spine, chin to chest. Inhale, cow pose, squeeze your shoulder blades behind your back. Exhale, tailbone curls under. One more. Inhale, drop the belly, pull your heart forward. Exhale, belly button to spine, round your spine. Back through your neutral tabletop pose, step both feet back, come into your high push-up position. Take five deep breaths in this high plank pose, shoulders over wrists, high on the balls of your feet, heart reaches forward. And let's prepare for side plank, turning over onto your left palm, reaching your right arm up towards the sky. Press your hips up as high as you can, maybe stay here or maybe see if you can float that right leg up. Look wherever is comfortable and wherever helps you balance the most. Let's lower and switch sides, down onto your right palm, left fingertips reach up towards the sky. Choose to stay here or float your left leg up. Two more breaths. Lower and come back through to plank pose. On an exhale, bend your elbows and come all the way down onto your belly, lowering your push up slowly. Setting up for locust, interlace your fingers behind your sacrum, and on an inhale, lift head and chest off of the mat, reaching your knuckles towards your heels. If your lower back feels good here, you can go ahead and lift your legs as well. Otherwise, keep them down onto the mat. Slight tuck of the chin to keep the back of the neck long, two breaths. And let's release down onto the mat. Palms underneath your shoulders, inhale, come into Cobra. Hug your elbows in towards your ribs, relax your shoulders down and away from your ears. Pelvis stays down onto the mat. Exhale to release, press back onto hands and knees, we'll be coming into puppy pose next. Keep your hips high over your knees and just walk your palms out in front of you so you can melt your chest down onto the mat, maybe resting your forehead down onto the ground. So we're just looking for a little bit of an expansion through the upper body. You might feel the stretch in through the shoulder girdle, in between the shoulder blades or through the pectorals.
lower abdominals stay engaged. Take three more deep belly breaths. And let's set up for our first downward dog of the day, curling your toes under and sending your hips up and back. Paddle your feet as much as you need to. Don't worry about having straight legs here, especially because we're not particularly warm through the hamstrings just yet. Feet are hip width distance apart, palms are shoulder width distance apart. Press your chest towards your thighs, curl tailbone up towards the sky, relax your neck. Step to the top of the mat and let's come into a forward fold so your feet are still hip width distance apart. Bend your knees as much as you need to so your belly can comfortably rest onto your thighs. Fingertips can stay down onto the mat or if you'd prefer you can always hold on to opposite elbows or whichever arm variation you prefer. Start to bend your knees as you roll all the way up to stand into mountain pose and we'll be doing three classical sun salutations from here. So whenever you're ready, on the inhale, both arms reach up, palms come to touch, breathe in deep. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward, relax your neck. Halfway lift, fingertips come onto the shins, flat back. Exhale, fold down, plant your palms, step both feet back into a high push-up position. One deep breath here, and as you exhale, come all the way down onto your belly. Cobra on the inhale, elbows hug into the ribs, exhale, melt your heart down, lower all the way back down onto your mat and press your way back into downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat and step or hop both feet forward in between your palms, halfway lift when you get there, inhale, exhale, fold. Press to stand, both arms reach up overhead, palms come to touch, we have two more. Exhale, both palms come to heart center. Our next round, inhale, both arms reach up overhead, palms come to touch. Exhale, fold forward, release your neck. Inhale, flat back. Plant your palms into the mat, high push up. Breathe in deep here, on the exhale, lower your push up. Cobra on the inhale, relax your shoulders down and away from the ears. Exhale, release back down onto the mat and press back through to downward facing dog, curling your tailbone up towards the sky. Relax your neck as much as you can. And then from here, look forward, step or hop both feet to the top of the mat, halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale, fold forward over your thighs, press to stand, both arms reach up overhead, palms come to touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Our last round, inhale, both arms reach up overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Halfway lift, breathe in deeply. Exhale to plant your palms, high push up. One inhale here. Lower your push up all the way down onto your belly. Inhale into Cobra Pose. Exhale to release, making your way back through to Downward Facing Dog. Looking to the top of the mat, step or hop both feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Rise up on the inhale, both palms reach overhead, come to touch. Hands at heart center and from here we're coming into chair pose. So bend your knees, sinking your hips down low. Make sure your inner thighs are hugging in towards each other and then both arms reach up, biceps along the ears. Keep lengthening tailbone down towards the earth. Stay connected to your breath. And then as you exhale, fold over your thighs, hands go back. Inhale, brings you back into your chair pose. We'll do that two more times. Inhale fully, exhale to fold. Inhale, come back up. Our last one, exhale, fold belly over thighs. Swing your arms back. Back into chair pose as you breathe in deeply and then straighten your legs. 
mountain pose from here. Inhale, both arms reach up, palms come to touch. Exhale, swan dive forward. We're coming into a different sun salutation. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, plant both palms, hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And as you exhale, your hips go up and back into downward facing dog. This time, as you inhale, right leg rises up towards the sky and on your exhale, shift forward into plank, hug knee towards your nose. Inhale, back into three-legged dog, right leg rises up towards the sky. Exhale, forward into plank, knee to nose. Inhale, to send that right leg up and back, our last one. Come forward into plank, knee to nose, hover here, and then drop your right foot in between your palms to the top of the mat. Lower your left knee down onto the ground, sending up for a low lunge here, both arms reach up overhead. And you don't need to sink your hips in too low here. We're just trying to gently warm up the right side of our hips down the right psoas and hip flexors. Stay long through the lower back, lower abdominals, stay engaged. And feel as if you could pull your spine out of your waist. Palms will come to heart center, moving into a twist. Your left elbow will hook over the top of your right thigh. Press your palms together firmly, almost as if you are trying to get your hands towards the center of your chest. Keep rolling your right shoulder down and away from your ear. Allow your hips to sink low here. Take one more deep inhale all the way down into the belly. And then release both palms down onto the mat. Right foot steps back to meet your left. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale into downward dog and we're ready to do the same thing on the second side. So from your downward dog, left leg rises up, deep breath here. And as you exhale, come forward into plank, knee to nose, hug that thigh in towards your chest. Inhale, left leg goes up and back. Exhale, forward into plank, knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. Our last one, come forward into plank, hug your knee in towards your chest and lightly step it to the top of the mat in between your palms. Inhale, both arms reach up overhead, allowing your hips to soften down, getting a deep stretch through your right hip flexors while hugging your biceps along the ears, lifting your chest up towards the sky. Bring your palms to heart center, let's come into a twist. Right elbow hooks over the top of your left thigh. Allow your hips to sink down a little bit deeper here. Press your palms together firmly. Roll your right shoulder head back. Stay broad through the collarbones and look wherever is comfortable for your neck. One more deep inhale here. And slowly release. Lift yourself back up through to center, palms down onto the mat. Step back into plank pose. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Elbows at a 90 degree angle. Inhale, upward facing dog. Relax your shoulders. Exhale, downward dog. Look to the top of the mat, step or hop both feet in between your palms, halfway lift when you get there, breathe in deep. Exhale, melt your heart down. Press to stand, both arms reach up overhead, palms come to touch. And as you exhale, hands come to heart center, mountain pose. Let's prepare for a half moon side bend. So standing with your feet hip width distance apart, bring your right palm down onto your hip. Inhale, left arm reaches up and over. Press your hips over towards the side. If you want the extra challenge, you can reach your right toes out and maybe float your right leg off of the mat. Stretching all along the left side of your body. On an inhale, come back through to center and we'll switch sides. Left palm over your waist, right fingertips reach up and over. Press that right hip out. Start with this variation first. If you'd like to explore deeper, maybe reach your left toes down onto the mat or float them off of the ground entirely. Breathe in. 
Let's come back through to center. Step back to the top of the mat if you weren't there already. And on an inhale, both arms reach up overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, hop back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, come into your back bend. Exhale, we all meet in downward dog. On an inhale from this downward dog, right leg rises up towards the sky, look forward and lightly step your right foot in between your palms, high on the ball of your back toes, come on in, crescent lunge. Both arms are reaching up overhead, hugging biceps along the ears, maybe keep a little bit of a bend through that back left leg. Try to bend deeply through your right knee, almost as if you were trying to get your thigh parallel towards the ground. We'll be exploring a twist in this pose as well. Twists really are great for energy. So let's bring our palms to heart center, hooking your left elbow over the top of your right thigh. If at any point you need to lower your left knee down onto the mat, go ahead and do so. If you'd like to take this twist deeper, you can come into a bind by reaching your left fingertips underneath your thigh and reaching your right arm towards your lower back, clasping your hands towards your sacrum. If this is too much for you and does not feel good, just stay in the first variation of the twist. Pay close attention to your breath. Look down here, bring your hands to heart center and very lightly release your palms both to the inside of your right thigh and toe heel your right foot right over to the edge of your mat. You can choose to keep your left knee off the ground for this or lower it if you want. We're coming into lizard pose. Stay up onto your palms or come down onto your forearms. Getting deeper into the inner groin, firing up that back leg. creating a really nice balance here between strength and flexibility. Step your right foot back, forearm plank. Reach your heart forward, keeping your hips down low. Inner thighs hug in towards each other. Relax your shoulders down and away from your ears, and then walk your feet in, coming into dolphin pose. Your head is not on the ground here. Keep your forearms firmly planting down onto the mat. Don't worry about having straight legs. You can always bend your knees if you need to. Keep pressing your chest towards your thighs. Relax your neck. Two more breaths. Walk your legs back out and come all the way down onto your stomach. We're coming into Sphinx Pose. So your forearms are still on the mat. You might need to adjust where you're placing them. Just take a few breaths into your upper back, all the way down the spine, into the front of the chest, and softly lower down on an exhale, making your way into Downward Facing Dog. And we'll go and do the same thing on the second side. So this time, left leg rises up, inhale. Look forward, step your left foot in between your palms, high on the ball of your right toes, crescent lunge, both arms reach up. Chest is lifting here, you're pulling your upper body out of your waist, bending deeply through your left knee. And let's come into our twist. You'll be bringing your palms to heart center first here and only on the exhale will you start to twist, bringing your right forearm over your left thigh. Keep pressing belly button back towards the spine. Stay in this variation or maybe come into a bind by reaching your right fingertips underneath your thigh and reaching your left arm behind your back. Being steady with your breath will help you with balance here. Release your bind, hands come to heart center for one more breath, and then release your palms to the inside of your left leg. We're coming into lizard pose. Either keep your right knee off of the mat or lower it. Stay up onto your palms or come down onto your forearms if you'd like to get deeper into the stretch. Take 
Take one more inhale and then come into forearm plank so your left leg steps back to meet your right, reaching your heart forward so that your shoulder blades roll down your back. Press your palms down onto the mat really firmly here. Press your heels back. Tailbone is lengthening towards your heels. And then let's walk our feet in, dolphin pose. Let your head be heavy, neck is relaxed. Soften through the knees. Engage your legs. Walk your feet back out, lower down onto your belly. Sphinx pose once more. So just a little bit of a back bend. One more deep breath in and slowly release. Make your way back through to downward facing dog, curling tailbone up towards the sky. Step your left foot forward to the top of the mat and spin both feet so both are parallel to the shorter edges of your mat. We're coming into a wide-legged fold. Find your stance. Some people will need to have their feet a little bit wider, others a little more narrow. And just allow your upper body to melt down and relax here. Send your breath all the way down both legs, releasing through the hamstrings, and then maybe interlace your fingers behind your lower back and send your knuckles up and over. Make sure that your wrists are still touching. Soften your fingers back down. Toe heel your feet a little bit closer towards each other. Turn your heels in, bend your knees. Let's come into goddess pose. Interlace your fingers as you turn and flip your palms out, lifting them up towards the sky, elbows along the ears. Abdominals stay engaged here, lengthening tailbone down towards the mat. Sink down as low as you can. Another really energizing pose. Breathe deeply in and out through the nose. Maybe sink your hips a little bit lower. Inhale, straighten your legs. Turn your right toes in, left toes out. Press your hips out towards the right side. Release your left palm down onto the mat. Right fingertips reach up, triangle. Don't worry too much about how far down your leg you're going. It really doesn't matter. All you're trying to do here is create space through both sides of your ribs. Come back up on an inhale. Turn your left toes in, right toes out. We're going to the second side. Press your left hip out. Release your right palm along your shin. Left fingertips reach up towards the sky. Same pose on the second side. One more deep inhale. Feel an expansion through the ribs. And use your abdominals to pull yourself out of the pose really slowly here. And let's step to the top of the mat. We'll be coming into Yogi Squat Malasana. So your feet are probably hip width distance apart, maybe a little bit more narrow if you have the flexibility through your hips. You're squatting down, bending your knees, turning your toes out a little bit, using your elbows to press to the inner thighs, opening your knees up a little bit more. And please stay here, otherwise if you'd like to explore and play around with crow pose, that's what we'll be setting up for next. So first find an extension and length through the spine, releasing your tailbone down onto the mat. Relaxing your shoulders. Take one more deep inhale here, and then maybe release your palms down onto the mat. Squeeze your inner thighs together, bringing your knees towards your triceps or all the way into your armpits, and then maybe lifting your toes off of the mat, keeping your gaze focused. 
imagining that you were squeezing a big beach ball here in between your thighs and in between your pectorals and shoulders and biceps so that everything is hugging in towards each other. Take one more deep inhale here and with control lower back into Malasana. Take a cleansing breath here. Let's come into camel pose, another really energizing pose to come into. Knees are directly underneath your hips, hip width distance apart. Curl your tailbone under, hugging lower abdominals in, palms to your lower back, fingertips facing down towards the mat. Lift your chest up and slowly move into your back bend. You can tuck your chin in towards your chest or just let your head go back. Keep your palms onto your lower back or release your fingertips holding onto your ankles. Take three breaths wherever you are. Slowly come back up and make your way into child's pose. Shoulders over your knees, forehead melts down onto the mat. Breathe deeply into your lower back. Take three more cleansing breaths right here. We'll stretch the upper back through the shoulders here, so interlace your fingers behind your sacrum, roll over towards the top of your head and release your knuckles up and over. You're really not placing too much weight on the top of your head here. Take two breaths into the stretch. And release hips back down onto the heels, slowly rise back up and we'll be coming into knee pile pose. So stack your right knee directly over top of your left and we'll be coming into an eagle arms variation here. Wrap your right arm underneath your left, hooking once or twice. Lower your shoulders down away from your ears, elbows go up high and softly move into a fold. Take five more deep breaths right here, softening into the hips. Gently lift yourself out of the pose, uncross your arms and very slowly uncross your legs. When you're ready, we'll go and do the same thing on the second side. This time you'll be stacking your left knee over top of your right and swinging your left arm to hook underneath your right. Bind once or twice, find length through the spine while relaxing your shoulders down and away from the ears, and when you're ready, start to soften into your fold. You're about halfway through the pose, so see here if there's any room for you to relax the upper body just a little bit more, and maybe even deepen your breath. Take yourself out of the pose, slowly lifting your chest back up, uncrossing your arms, uncrossing your legs, and from here let's come into a straddle shape with the legs, 
So just go ahead and open them up, toes are pointing up towards the sky. Sit up nice and tall on both sits bones. And whenever you're ready, we're just going to slide our right palm down our right leg. Left fingertips will reach up and over so you can get into a nice side bend through the left side of your body. Try to keep your neck as relaxed as you can here and stay grounded down through that left sit bone. Don't let it come off of the earth. Inhale, come back through to center and slowly move to the second side. Left palm goes down your leg, right fingertips reach up and over. Three deep breaths right into the right side of your ribs from armpit all the way down into your waist. Come back to center and from here let's lie down on our backs coming into Shavasana, our final resting pose. Learning to properly rest is a really big part of creating more energy throughout the day. So with these last few minutes, see if you can give yourself the opportunity to focus only on the present moment. If you notice your mind start to wander, thoughts start to drift in and out, see if you can just let them go and allow the pull of gravity to let you sink deeper and deeper into the earth. Release any tension through the jaw, facial muscles, neck and shoulders. Moving down the body, feel your chest get heavy. Down your arms, all the way to your wrists and fingers. Softness through the abdomen, just lightly feeling your belly rise and fall with the rhythm of your breath, without trying to force the breath into anything that does not feel natural. Allow your hips to be really heavy down into the mat, with no tension through the legs, with that same softness flowing all the way down to the soles of your feet and into your toes. Take a moment here to appreciate your body as a whole. Really take it in from the crown of your head all the way down to your heels. Let it be soft and still. Thank you so much for doing this class with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please take the time to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. It does mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful, energetic day. Namaste.